Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm going to do a brief video here on sunscreen. Um, this is just the best way to do this video right after I did the video on vitamin D because everybody knows that vitamin D is very important for them and a lot of people don't know that the sun gives the best vitamin D. So you don't really want to block it. But the problem is the, the media is finally coming out with an article. This is May 6, 2019. Sunscreen enters the bloodstream after just one day of use, study says. But there's a lot of flaws in this. So I'll leave the link below this video for this article and some information and my thoughts will, um, will basically come across in this video and will hopefully let you make your own informed decision on what, what you should do for your body. Um, and I'll tell you what I would personally do. So basically, it took just one day. I'm going to kind of highlight this as, as, as I go along here. It took just one day of use for several common sunscreen ingredients to enter the bloodstream at levels high enough to trigger a government safety investigation. And basically, in a nutshell, um, there was a study published uh, on Monday, remember this article is about a month old, in the medical journal uh, JAMA, and it found that the blood concentration of three of the ingredients continued to rise as daily use continued and then remained in the body for at least 24 hours after sunscreen use ended. And there's four chemicals studied and as part of a dozen that the FDA basically um, said they needed um, to be researched by manufacturers before they could be considered generally regarded as safe and effective. And then they say so should you stop using sunscreen? Absolutely not, experts say. So who are these experts? Okay, so let's take a look at all of this. Well, here's the experts. Um, why is the FDA concerned about these sunscreen ingredients, right? Before we get into that, who are the experts? American Academy of Dermatology. These are the experts. Dermatologists. What do dermatologists do? Well, their business is about the skin, right? Is sunscreen safe? Yes, sunscreen is safe to use. Dermatologists recommend it. Hmm. Scientific studies support wearing it on a regular basis to protect against skin cancer. The FDA continues to tell Americans they should apply sunscreen. Hmm. Interesting. Then it talks about what does the FDA propose uh, rule say. Classify sunscreen and they say are generally recognized as safe. Okay, here's some of these. They didn't mention any other article. And then, you know, there's this. and You know, it... it it's really interesting that they're doing a study because it stays in in there 24 hours after sunscreen use has ended. So you're rubbing this on your skin. It's getting in through your skin into your bloodstream. And according to the dermatology website, uh, why is sunscreen regulated by the FDA? It's classified as an over-the-counter drug. Hmm. This means it's a drug you can buy without a prescription. So now sunscreen is a drug. But you're applying it... You're applying it... to your skin to protect you against the sun. But it's a drug. Interesting. And they're basically saying that sunscreen is classified as a drug because it can prevent a sunburn. Okay? Your body's toxic. If you don't go in the sun, you get a sunburn. So toxic body, sunburn, don't go in the sun, you get sunburn. Hmm. Reduce skin cancer. Okay? You can get skin cancer without going in the sun, by the way. 
Decreased early skin aging. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, you can get skin aging by, again, not going in the sun and having a really poor diet. Um, so these are just some of the things that just don't make any sense. And this is just something that uh, is very contradicting, as you can see. Um, they talk about these ingredients, and then they say again here that it plays a role in protecting your skin from the sun. When you use a broad spectrum of sunscreen with SPF or higher, it can reduce these three things. Okay? So let's take a look at this a little further. Here's the sunscreen, and I'm going to kind of really uh, zoom in here, but I'm going to read it to you just so everyone can see. So, warnings, external use only, do not use on damaged or broken skin. When using this product, it says you want to basically keep it out of the eyes, um, rinse with water to remove, stop and ask the doctor if a skin, you know, rash occurs, keep out of reach of children, if swallowed, get medical help or contact poison center control right away. So, if this is something that is so good for you and you rub it in your skin and it's getting into your bloodstream after 24 hours um, after the sunscreen use ended and they're saying it's safe to use but you can't eat it I find this to be very very alarming so I want to know what your thoughts are go ahead and put that in the comment section below I'm gonna go ahead and end this video um, my thoughts I don't use sunscreen I never will I don't care, I don't need it, um, that's my personal take. And, you know, I've given you the information, do what you think is best for your body, but vitamin D is a very, very important hormone, I'll leave the link of that video below this one. Um, but would I rub this gooey stuff on my skin? No. I personally never would, ever. Thank you so much, folks. Bye.